We're still in the surface area and volume uh, topic. We're sort of stepping back a little bit from shapes that exist in 3D. We're going to talk about, we're going to get to 3D shapes again, but to simplify things, we want to look at 2D shapes like the one that we did in the first review question today. Okay. To start off with, we need to remember, what do we talk about? Like, what specifically are we meaning when we say two shapes are similar? Does anyone want to venture like a nice, succinct, one sentence definition? Similar figures are. Any takers? Brian, what do you think? Same measurements. Similar figures are same measurements. Okay, now, measurements are really, really important. You'll see, I'm going to bring in these measurements in a moment, okay? But actually, similar is quite different to the same. Daniel, what would you add to that? Um, similar is, let's say, um, enlarged or small to the um, original measurements or like just any measurement. Mm -hmm. Like with the 7, it would go to 14 and the 24, it would go to 48. Okay. It's like enlarged. All right, so I really like similar. this. Whenever you're struggling to like, what, what is something? An example is very helpful. So I think the words that Daniel said, which were really helpful, were enlarge or shrink. I'll come back to those words in a second. Does anyone want to add something they feel hasn't been said by the definitions already? Okay. Well, they have the same properties. I have the same properties. Okay. okay, now properties is another that asks a few more questions, but you might say like, you know, if sides are parallel in a shape, then if you've got another shape that's similar, the sides better still be parallel. Do you agree? Like that's a property. Um, does anyone want to add anything else to that at all? Yeah, Millie, what do you think? They have the same ratio. Ah, okay, so now we're starting to get some more technical language here, ratios. Let's all write a definition. <laughs> Similar figures, let's have a definition. Similar figures dot 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 are shapes that share. And I'm going to try and capture all of the things that we've just mentioned, right? So I'm going to say, say shapes that share all characteristics all characteristics, and that includes um, properties, it includes ratios, it includes angles, all characteristics except size. Okay? Now what that gets at is what Danielle was saying, which is that you can take a shape, you can make it really, really big or really, really tiny, but so long as the characteristics are the same, the square is still a square, the triangle's still pointing in the same direction, whatever, as long as it's sharing those, it'll be similar. You can change the set size, make it whatever you like. Now, in fact, <laughs> Daniel would make a good math teacher. I'm going to take this exact shape that we did in question one. This is the reason why I introduced it. And I'd like you to draw underneath this heading of area of similar figures. I want you to draw another one that is similar to it, but I want to change the measurements. Okay? So this time, I'm going to draw another rectangle. I know that it looks exactly the same as the one that I've just drawn, no, even in terms of sight. Well, maybe it's a little no, bit off. That's okay. small. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Okay. Um, it's still rectangular-ish, but that's because on a page, we don't really worry about, like we say, not to scale, right? So I'm going to put some measurements on this that will change it. Let's take the suggestion, which was, I'm going to take all the measurements and I'm going to double them. Okay, I'm going to double all the measurements. So this height is no longer 7, it's now 14. We worked out the, well, I already worked out the width here. It used to be 24, so now it's going to be 48. Now I'm going to put one more thing on here just to add it in for interest. I provided you a diagonal, right? So what will the diagonal be now? 50. Cool. Okay. Stay with me, Eugene. All right, now, having all of these measurements here, I can now very quickly work out the area. The area is going to be 14, that's the height, times 48, which is the breadth or the width or whichever word you choose, right? Um, 14 times 48. Anyone got a number for me? 14 times 48. Anyone got it? Yeah, we'll start with Six, seven, two. Yes. Centimeters. Okay, now everyone put your pens down and I want you to carefully observe what we've just done. Okay, pens down and look up because this is kind of the critical point. <laughs> what have we done? We have doubled all of the dimensions, right? Or I should say we've doubled all of the lengths, right? You doubled the height, doubled the width, doubled the diagonal, okay? 
but when you have a look at the areas, the areas have not doubled. Why haven't they doubled? Maybe I should ask a question for that. How much have, be, have they gotten bigger? Not double, but? Um, yeah, four times bigger, they have quadrupled, okay? Now, this is the more important question that I asked too early. Why has the area quadrupled rather than doubled? If we doubled everything else, why didn't the area double as well? Sarah, what do you think? Because you doubled the height and you doubled the length, so that's altogether, it's like quadrupled. Okay, so I've doubled... <laughs> now let me pause on this for a second. Okay, I'll come to you in a minute. I've doubled here, and I've doubled here. So that's doubling twice, right? But hold on a second. Remember I asked you for the diagonal as well? Didn't I double that as well? Yeah. Why have I not doubled three times? Why is it not eight? Hmm. Agni, you had your hand up before. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, okay, you're, you're on the right track. Uh, Ryan, you had your hand up, what do you reckon? Don't use the diagonal to work the shape out. Aha, uh -huh. so, you can have a lot of measurements on a shape, right? But do you remember, I mean, the step that is before this that almost none of us have written, is that the area is uh, length times breadth, right? Two measurements are required because it's a two-dimensional shape. Do you agree? Yeah. So since two dimensions are required, you double each of those, double, double, and that's quadruple, as Sarah said, right? So even though there's another measurement that's been doubled, it's not relevant, okay? I can work this out in terms of doubling once, doubling twice, so in total, two times two is four. Does that make sense? Okay, so here's the way we would formally say this. For our example rectangle, if the, the word that Millie said before, the ratio, if the ratio of lengths from our first rectangle to our second rectangle is 7 to 14, uh, 24 to 48, 25 to 50, in summary, it's 1 to 2. Then what happens is the ratio of areas, oops, don't need that, it actually becomes everything squared. So it's actually 1 squared to 2 squared, okay? Which, as you noticed before, is 1 to 4. Does that make sense? So <coughs> you double the length, you're going to quadruple the areas, all right? How about this? What if we made it 1 and a half times bigger? All of the measurements. So this is 7 right now. Suppose we changed it and we made it uh, 1 and a half times bigger is 10 and a half. Yeah? Uh, this is 24. So one and a half times big would be 36. 36. Pause for a second. Think. What do you predict will happen? Hmm. Yeah. One and a half. One and a half. A reasonable conclusion to draw is, hey, last time I was two and two, and two plus two is four, which is in that in fact what in fact what we got. Okay? So is this gonna be three times bigger because it's one and a half and one and a half. Well, can you work out? Can you tell me what 10.5 times 36 is? 10.5 times 36. Someone got a number for me? 378. Is this number three times bigger than this? It's not. In fact, I can tell you right now, you can confirm this for me, I believe it's two and a quarter times bigger. It is. This times two and a quarter gives this. Now the question is, how did I know that? Apart from my mathematical awesomeness, okay? Um, I didn't, I didn't, you know, calculate that beforehand. Where did it come from? Like one point five times. Yeah, 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 yeah. So one and a half bigger times bigger each time. One and a half, not plus one and a half. Area isn't about addition. Area is about multiplication. multiplication. So the one and a half is multiplied by one and a half, and the square of one and a half, I happen to know, is two and a quarter. Okay? So the ratio of areas, everything gets squared. You don't add, you square. Okay? Uh, if I made it seven times bigger, then it would be one squared to seven squared, which is 49. Okay? And so on. So that's all there is really to it. 